Well, it's just one of the most universal tools used by doctors around the world. They all carry a stethoscope to listen to a patient's heart and lungs. But researchers at the University of Pennsylvania have discovered the nasty truth about these instruments. They might be covered with potentially dangerous bacteria. Dr. Malika Marshall is here. Doctor, mm -hmm. just how dirty are we talking with these I almost brought mine out. So you could see. So that we could all put it on our know, hands and right. see exactly. how dirty it is. Rub it all over. Yes. No. <laughs> I decided not to do that. But yeah. so researchers actually performed DNA tests on the stethoscopes that were used by doctors and nurses and respiratory therapists who were working in an intensive care unit. Mm -hmm. And they found that not only was there lots of harmless bacteria, but there was lots of potentially dangerous bacteria mm. that could, could could cause infections like Staph aureus. Mm. They did find that if they wiped down their stethoscope with antiseptic wipes or alcohol that it did help but it not did not completely remove the bacteria so it's just a reminder for us providers to make sure our stethoscopes are clean but also to you patients to perhaps mention to your doctor nah, do you mind wiping that off before I was last you put it on that stethoscope. Yeah, exactly <laughs> before you put that on my naked back um, Christmas is the happiest time of the year for many but uh, for some it could also be the most dangerous Yeah, this is serious there's a new Swedish study that found your risk of suffering a heart attack around the holidays peaks on Christmas Eve and in fact there's a particular time on mm. Christmas Eve right Poor Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah. Why are they messing it with Christmas Eve? It already gets the short rift, and then uh, apparently it's... <laughs> right. So here in the U.S. it does, but in many parts of the world it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So what they did in Sweden was they looked at almost 300,000 heart attacks that occurred over a 16-year period, and they found that Christmas Eve was the most dangerous day, and that 10 p.m. on Christmas Eve was the most dangerous time. Oh. Um, the people at highest risk were older people and people with diabetes and heart disease, obviously. But as I mentioned, in Sweden and many other parts of the world, Christmas Eve is the big day mm, here in the yes. United States it's typically Christmas Day but yeah. I think it's just a reminder that you know try to check your emotions on Christmas Eve mm -hmm. a lot of people get very excited and very happy mm -hmm. but a lot of people also despair so they might have feelings of anger and anxiety and stress you forget it's a hard time of year for it a lot can of people, people. A lot of and there's people. a fair amount of drinking at Christmas Eve events there too. Sure that probably is. adds into it as there well sure. I'm hosting this year so I will try to breathe okay, okay. And take it easy don't fight and just be happy be happy <laughs> thank you Malika. free 10 p.m. hour. 10 p.m. <laughs> at the